months after his graduation, we had invited 300 guests to the reception. But I tell you, more people turned up as the hall was filled to capacity, plus the verandas outside both balconies. Financial contributions poured in. I said, poured in. As orchestrated by God Almighty, someone prayed for the hall. People offered to cook and cater for free. A florist decorated the church free. A lady paid for all the flowers. Someone paid for the live band at the reception. The hall was also decorated free. A lady bought 50 roast chickens from Costco. A lady paid the deposit and a month's rent for the apartment. After that big, big wedding, we were debt free. God opened the windows, not the small windows, I'm telling you, big windows of heaven. In 1995, I was so blessed. I studied for three months in Israel. Back in Fiji, three of us nursing leaders had applied for this course. Later, we were told by our superiors, our bosses, that there was no money. No one was going to Israel. Deep in my heart, I knew I was going and I wanted to go. So as directed through my prayers by God Almighty, I decided to write directly to the Israeli embassy in Fiji. A few days later, they wrote back stating that I could go, but seeing I was a private candidate, meaning I was non-government non sponsored, I was to pay for all my expenses, traveling Fiji to Israel, tuition, board, etc. <coughs> wow, I wanted to go, but I did not have the money. Again, I sought my source, God Almighty, through prayers and fasting. I was led to write another letter detailing my financial situation and outlining that the education gain would be greatly beneficial to my work. Brothers and sisters in Christ, God is so amazing and faithful. A few days later, I received a letter from the Israeli embassy. It began this way. The Israeli government is honoring you. Yes, all expenses paid, the whole package. Yes, God Almighty opened big, big windows of heaven. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says, trying, brothers and sisters. That was 17 years ago in Israel. Right now, he is still opening the windows of heaven. In my role as a caregiver, I can either do a living 24-7 or 5 days schedule, or I can work hourly, whatever hours that's needed. I work and look after a gentleman two and a half years now. I only do eight hours in five days, but I tell you, God opened windows of heaven. Whatever I get now is maybe more to what I would get if I lived in 24 hours. To me, that is another big window of heaven for me. After Pastor Skyler asked me to testify about two or three weeks ago, while in prayer, I was excited. One day I was drawn to Psalm 24 verse 1 which says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Wow, I was so excited. God does not need our money. It is already his, according to his word. God just wants our obedience because he loves us and he wants to bless us. My brothers and sisters in Christ, my 24 years of tithing has been exciting and full of blessings. God Almighty dares us to try him. Take this step of faith in 2013 that God Almighty will open the windows of heaven and pour. I say pour. His blessings on you and your family. Whatever I've said today and whatever my family have achieved over the years, I give all the glory and honor to God and God alone. Amen. Amen. Amen.